You see what I mean when you play with folks in them? Leave people and their kids alone, bruh. Educational purpose. Little Boosie done responded to the bad man. Fredo Bang got a response from Boosie. Yeah. Now, y'all don't know what's going on. Y'all know the whole situation is starting with the Ivy situation. Ivy, Boosie's best, best friend. You know what I mean? Ivy done started a branch right before he got murdered or whatever and died. Ivy started a group called TBG, you know? So, TBG, y'all know, consists of all these rappers like G Money, Rest in Peace, Boulevard Quick, you know, Fredo Bang, and a whole lot of other artists. You, you gotta feel it. Um, the Hardaway, it's a lot of artists they got. Now, the situation is that's NBA Youngboy and them oppositions, and not just Youngboy and them. If y'all know, like me, through the streets of Baton Rouge and all that, and being connected to folks giving you info, it's a lot of other niggas beefing with them too. It ain't just when you see two rap groups beefing with each other gang that whole situation ain't just two sides going every day at each other nah man they got a whole lot of people out here who obviously and in tune with them right quick so now boosie is like i'm gonna fall back i'm gonna make a response so it's, it's a get back situation now not just in no retaliation but i mean as far as i gotta make a statement so people don't play with my kin folks at them now what's going on is you know Tootie Raw, which is um, Boosie's little son, he's real cool with Baby Joe and them, NBA Youngboy and them. You know, he, he's cool with a lot of the Louisiana famous folks. Let's just get that out the way. He ain't trying to pick sides. He's just real cool. He's cool with people like Funny Mike and a lot of Baton Rouge people per in particular. You know what I mean? So, obviously, he let it be known how he feel about Little Ivy Jr. Now, that's the son of Little Ivy. They've been dissing Boosie nonstop. Because of picking and choosing, they claim Boosie is doing. He giving way, way too hella love to NBA Youngboy and them. And they look at it like, hold on, TBG is the group of your mans in them. That's Lil Ivy's little family thing he got going on. You ain't giving... All this is allegedly as far as what they claiming because I don't live with them. But that's what they're claiming. They're saying Boosie ain't never been looking out for Ivy kids like that. And now the daughter done grew up. She put Boosie on blast. Ivy Jr. got songs with Fredo Bang, Lit Yoshi. He been going ham on Boosie for over a year and a half, bro. So now Boosie Boo, he got to respond now. Boosie ain't never really responded to none of them. He said a slick thing little here and there because you got to make a statement if they say you doing your mans and them family wrong. Then, you know, in the eyes of the trenches, you, you just a disloyal weirdo type dude but boosie feel like he a solid dude so he made a response on that now one of his response got a little out of hand and little ivy jr and tootie raw was going back and forth with the disses or whatever so little ivy do a song a week ago and in the song he said hell no nah, i don't fuck with no gorilla and everybody knew already who you talking about tbg and them that's you know top gorilla and all that so I personally felt at the time he was really throwing the stop mainly towards Lil Ivy. But if you don't give no names and you doing little subliminal dishes and a little bit dry here and there, everybody and mama gonna feel like, bro, you you throwing them shots at me, educational purpose. So Fredo Bang and the crew, and I think Ivy Jr. was in there too. They gonna well don't I might be wrong, so don't you know quote me on that. That might be extra that I'm adding. I I don't remember too much in the video, but the video, Fredo Bang responds by doing a little antagonizing his shit. You know what I mean? He gonna be hopping on the song. He jamming on it. And he doing... All the rocking. Hey, hold on, y'all. Y'all do me a favor before I keep going. Hit that like button for me right quick, man. I've been noticing a lot of y'all folks, and it ain't y'all fault. When you enjoying the video, you don't got time to be clicking subscribe and likes. You just gonna sit back, be on your spliff or your drink. Let me take a swig for y'all. You just trying to rock out. Like, I feel y'all. I appreciate it, too. Personally, if you ask me, I ain't I ain't a YouTuber. I'm just a nigga on YouTube. That's how I look at myself, bro. So, personally, I feel y'all. As I'm drinking this good uh, Kool-Aid for y'all right quick, do your boy a favor right quick. Hit this like button. Go to the notification bell. Subscribe. Go to the notification bell and click all. You know, go to the description box or anything you got to do. Just rock out and make sure you comment. But yeah, shit, shit, yeah. Fredo Bang does a response where they doing a parody mocking, mocking Tootsie Raw. And I think that's when Boosie was basically like, you know what? Nah, I ain't going for it no more. I've been letting Fredo Bang say a little bit. 
slick thing here and there. I've been letting Ivy and them folks and them saying this and that. But, bro, you ain't going to be playing with my son, bro. And I, I don't think no man will stand back and just let folks and them play with your kids like that, bro. Educational purpose. You going to respond in a good respond, responding type of way, first of all. And you going to let it be known that we ain't going for that. Nah, not this family, not this over here. And y'all do know Boosie and this man is cousins. Boosie found out already. Fredo didn't deny it. They're cousins, bro. So this is deep, bro. You got a little Ivy situation being mixed in this. Then you got your cousin Fredo Bang and folks in the men's picking size. But I did say on the video, I don't think Fredo and them as much is going to really do anything to Tootsie Raw. I, I don't think it's going to be nothing like that, bro. I think it's just more of letting people know like, hey, little boy, don't play with me, my nigga. You know what I mean? This right here, when you cross that street, bro, educational purpose, folks in them do get hit, bro, when you cross them streets, even if you look both ways. You know what I mean? Hey, gang, even if you look both ways, bro, in these real-life streets out here, bro, even if you look both ways, your ass still get hit, bro. That streets, I swear to God, ain't unfair, bro. It ain't fair, bro. When niggas be like, I'm married to the street, you better divorce that hoe. Fuck you mean you married to the street, all this extra rah-rah, bro. Nah, streets ain't got no loyalty, ain't no wedding rings for nobody. You cross them waters and, and somebody getting ghosts. And I ain't talking about Casper, the friendly-ass ghost. Maybe you, the friendly-ass human who got ghosts. Other than that, man, so Boosie letting it be known. And I like both sides, bro. Like, I grew up on Boosie. Boosie only, like, three or four years older. Um, I rocked out with Fredo Bang. You know what I mean? Like, I like his vibes, bro. Everybody seen this platform is AKA the Fredo Bang damn near fan club platform, bro. So it's like... You got to look at it for what it is, bro. And now Fredo got more situations than that to worry about because he got a whole case on him, gang. We don't even know if he ain't never coming home or what. I personally think he going to get bail. But even when you get bail and them type of fair case, bro. <sighs> wow. Even when you get bail, my nigga, it's like it, it's, it's gone time, bro. And then... The years they give you, y'all be, be thinking five and ten years is not a lot. If you looking at it like me or you and we ain't worth what these niggas worth, then yeah, bro, you lucky to get five or ten. I know it's sad to say you lucky. I, I don't wish prison and jail on nobody. Let me knock on what don't happen to me. But it's like when you a rapper, my nigga, you losing at least minimum $100,000 a day when you... Well, let me be fair. It's Fredo Bang, so let me be like, look, it ain't me counting niggas' pocket, but at least minimum 50000 and up. And that's some guap, bro. Do the math, my nigga. Do the math, my nigga. $50,000 a day, my nigga. Not a month, a day, bro. So you losing a lot, bro. You got a lot of people to take care of. You got kin folks in them. So now you got this beef brewing, bro. I feel like Boos is just... Boos is being a big dog right now. Most people know... Boosie ain't the one you play with, bro. Since I was a youngin' and now I'm a grown man, bro. Boosie, it ain't me pulling on another nigga pause. It's just telling you what it is. I seen the dude got tested, and I ain't see it come out good for the other side. I seen Boosie always standing tall every time, bro. Every time, bro. Like, he ain't never been uh, 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 on a losing streak, bro. Like, even when Boosie... The only thing I ain't like when Boosie and the Sigmas, whatever you call that group, the fraternity or whatever, bro... He, he took an L on that one, if you ask me. It is what it is, bro. Not a bad L, but them folks got money. And them folks, to me, they, they go against the grain with black folks. I feel like Boosie, maybe he shouldn't stand in square because you, you shouldn't lose money. But some of the extra go along, get along made me uncomfortable. But other than that, I like how Boosie stood up as a dad. I like that. I like it a lot. But I do know you can't have your kid out here wilding, though. Let's just get that out the way. You cannot have your kids out here wilding and styling, and you know you got monsters out here. You got real life monsters, educational purpose, lurking and praying out here to catch any dude slipping, bro. You know this already. So you gotta get your kin folks in them on APs and Q's, my nigga. Stay alert, stay alive. So a lot of this situation is wild, bro. Like, I, I sit back. And if you ask me the whole entirety of the situation, it's like some of us take advantage and we know our, our pops is the monster, alleged big dog in the block, and we feel like we missed the untouchable. We get to tweaking and doing a little too much, and 
It can go left at any time for anybody. I don't care how much money or goons you got. Everybody done felt a situation where shit went left, bro. I mean, that's everybody, bro. Where you get the, oh, God, if you get me out of this one, I'm going to do this. I'm going to stop doing that. Like, we all been in that already. Been there, done that. So, look, keep your kin folks and them safe out here. It's the Wild Wild West for real. I don't care what Mickey Mouse and the Disney show got, got out here. They showing. We know it's the jungles in real life. I don't care if you live in the suburbs. All the way you live in the block, bro. The, the, the world we live in today is a wild, wild west. Be very safe out here. Now, educational purpose, man. Love your family. Love your kids. And stay blessed, gang. Hit the like button. Hit the notification bell. Come rock out with your boy. I smoke hip-hop live right quick. Salute, gang.